What is up, everyone? Kanan here, and welcome to another reaction. Um, a reaction that I am very late to. I think either two weeks or even more than that. Um, so I think for all of us, there is always a game that if we're bored of everything else we've got, or if there's just nothing new out that we want to play, there's that one game that we can always go back to and enjoy no matter what. Uh, and for me, when either I've played too much Ring Factory 5 and want to play something else, or I'm done getting my butt kicked in Elden Ring, Final Fantasy XIV is that game for me. But I have to admit, I've not played Final Fantasy XIV for quite some time. After I beat Anwalker and the Pandemonium Raid of what they've released so far, there was just nothing left for me to do. Plus, you gotta remember, when I played through Final Fantasy XIV, I played straight from a realm reborn to shadow bringers to be ready for Ant by the time when and walker came out so i was a little burnt out so i was like you know what i'm gonna take a break um wait for the new story content to come out and stuff like that and so we are finally there patch 6.1 new found adventure this is the beginning of an all-new arc the the story that started in a realm reborn ended in Endwalker. walker and this is the start of the next big story in the game. Um, Newfound Adventure and the art, which is behind me, that they've released kind of makes me feel like we may be going toward a more like a, a Realm Reborn setting, like just returning to being an ordinary adventurer until the next cataclysmic event takes place. So, um, yeah. So I have a feeling we're going to take little bitty steps to the eventual next big expansion, whenever that may be. I also want to take this time to apologize for the audio issues in my last Fire Emblem video. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because I had the microphone set differently or something. I tested the microphone several times before recording this video. There was no problem. So hopefully that, that doesn't happen again. Um, I start my new job Thursday, so hopefully, uh, eventually we can get a better microphone here soon. But, um, as always, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave, leave me a comment. Really, really, really wanting to hit a thousand subscribers really, really fast. Um, I'll probably talk a little bit about the trailer after it's done. And, uh, so yeah, two weeks, I have not seen this. I either forgot there was a new trailer or I just didn't know but I've not seen it. I'm very excited to get back into Final Fantasy XIV for a new story. Let's go. Square Enix. Okay, here we go. Come on. See if we got some exciting stuff. Ah, Tataru. Best girl. Best character in the, in the entire game. Stola, Kryl, Orianje, Thancred, Raha. Yeah, okay. Everybody went their separate ways after the main story. But we can see that they're they're still gonna be around. Who's this a new uh Estinian? Oh, that's a new map. Oh, this must be the next new uh, dungeon. Okay. Definitely. So is this going to be like the new areas that we're going to be exploring going forward? Okay, that's an interesting boss. <laughs> okay. Now, what what is this? Okay, this must be either a new mini game or PvP, because that's what it looks like. Yeah, that looks like a mini game in a way. Like, or yeah, PvP maybe. I don't really play PvP, so. Everyone's there. Oh yeah, they they changed it. Hildebrand, oh boy. Oh man, this looks really. Racing, okay. That might be a tribal quest thing. Okay. 
This is looking good. That looks amazing. This okay. This is the the new alliance raid. All right. Yeah, definitely alliance raid. I never thought I would enjoy those, but they're actually pretty fun. They really are. That's pretty. Very okay. I like the boss designs. They look tough. I'm not going to lie. Oh, those are awesome looking. Definitely bosses. Oh man, I cannot wait. We got anything after the. Oh. Almost looks like Garland in a way. Okay, that looks awesome. Okay. That was the new found adventure trailer. Um, so of course I, I've not, it, it's already out. I I've already updated it. I just haven't played it. Um, money's been tight. Plus I just, there's been so much more going on, you know, rune factory five came out. Elden ring came out. Um, I'm still playing Pokemon legends, Arceus. So I I've had a lot of games, uh, to, you know, that I've been focused on, but, um, Usually with these updates that I learned as I played through the game, you know, it's not going to be incredibly long. I think I just a handful of quests and all that. So that's one reason why I'm not jumping into it right away because I, you know, it'll be over before I know it. But, um, I'm excited because I mean, uh, from what I have been told from, from what I've seen in the, uh, in my free company's discord is that, um, you know, th they're bringing Hildebrand back, which will be fun. Um, he'll, 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 he, he skipped shadow bringers and, uh, everybody was wondering if he was ever going to come back. And, uh, of course he didn't come back during the main story of Ann Walker, but now that we're out of that and moving toward a new, uh, story arc, you can bring him back. And if, if you've ever played 14 and you've not taken part in the Hiddle, in those in the handle brain uh, quest please do it is so entertaining it is the most funniest thing i've ever seen in my life um i remember when i first stumbled upon those quests i was like what is this and i i just ended up loving them um i think there was a little too for me in a realm reborn there was a little bit too many quests but then through heaven's ward uh storm blood they the there was not as many it, it didn't get tiresome after a while, but, um, I'm excited. Um, and the great thing about 14 is if you take a break, you're not penalized when you come back, your character is still there, all your stuff, all that, you know, they, they don't delete accounts if you've been inactive for so many months or whatever. So that is always a great thing. But, um, so yeah, like newfound adventure and the art that they have it's like I expected something maybe more like the beginning of A Realm Reborn. I know a lot of people didn't, don't like A Realm Reborn because they think it started off really, really slow, and I guess it kind of does. But you were a no-name adventurer who had to make a name for themselves before, you know, oh, you're the Warrior of Light. Then you become the champion of Eorzea, and then... You know, you deal with all the political stuff in Heaven's Ward and then all out war in Stormblood and then saving a different world in Shadowbringers to saving your own world in Endwalker. And so uh, many figured this was going back to basics, becoming just an ordinary adventurer again before the big plot really started. But this looks like it's already going into a pretty big plot. Um, and of course, there's the Alliance Raids, which the Alliance Raids always deal with something really big. Um, so yeah, I like 
they showed some stuff there that looks like it's probably PvP related. I don't play PvP. Uh, I mostly play 14 for the story and all that. So that's not really my cup of tea, but hey, that, that's always good for content for people who enjoy PvP. Um, like I said, Hiddle, Hiddlebrand will be fun. Can't wait to play through that. And um, the new dungeon looked inter interesting. It looks like uh, the only two they didn't show, I think, is Alfino and uh, Alize. So um, are they sitting out of this little update? Who knows? But everyone else uh, was there. Um, yeah, even Kryle is gonna is gonna be involved. So uh, hope she does kind of become a uh, has a bigger role later in uh, as the game goes on because it seems like there for a while she was mostly off screen doing things. Um, happy my girl Yastola is back. I already have seen some stuff from this about her like. She kind of has a rough time in this update, apparently. But I don't know too much. I've kind of tried to stay away from it. But uh, whenever it's Yastola, I've got to look. Because she's... Besides my own character, she's my favorite. Um, and plus, I believe this is the update that they're adding new game plus for the main scenario of Endwalker. So that's great. Whenever we get better internet, which we were told the earliest we would get it would be this month but still nothing so far. So who knows? Hopefully sometime this summer, whenever we do get better internet, I am personally going to play through the entire game again for you guys. It'll be new game plus. So I'll be very over leveled for the beginning of the game or most of the game, but it'll be faster. It'll be way faster than starting a whole new character. Plus I love my, my character, my uh, female Makote monk that I have. Um, to me, she is the warrior of light that no one else is. You get what I mean? Because it's my character. I'm the main hero of the... My character is the main hero of this game. So, um... So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And for, Final Fantasy XIV, to me, is... It's my favorite Final Fantasy. This is coming from someone who has played from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 15. The only exception I've never played is, of course, some of the side games... But I never played Final Fantasy XI, because when that game came out, <laughs> good luck playing an online game when all we had in this area was dial-up. So, no, that never got to happen. I could play it now, but I just, I, I, I'm happy enough with 14. But take it from someone who's played all of them, 14 is my favorite. 14 is everything I would want in a Final Fantasy. It's got one thing that I've always wanted them to introduce in Final Fantasy, and that's a create a character mode. So it just literally has everything that I would want. If they ever made an offline version of Final Fantasy XIV with all the expansions included, I don't care if it was $100, I would buy it. Um, but, you know, even on our internet, it's playable, so it's not that big a deal. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking very forward to this. Who knows where the story is going to go? How are they going to top the the villains from Endwalker, like these godlike beings, into future stories? I don't know, but Final Fantasy usually always deals with godlike beings, so it'll probably just be business as usual. But, um, yeah, so that was my little reaction to this trailer. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a comment. Like I said, as soon as we get better internet, you'll see Final Fantasy 14 a lot more on the channel because I'll be able, heck, I'll be able to um, just upload more. Uh, well, me and Jess both will. It's just that right now with our internet, we just cannot upload more than one video a day unless it's a really short video like this one. But, um, so yeah. As always, guys, this is Kanan. Me and Jess love you all very, very much. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.